I'm gonna do the date. Boom, let's see what happens. Turn off the electricity. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today is all about uninterruptible power supplies. This behemoth, oh, it's a battery. It's a power supply. It is a voltage regulator. It is some good juice. Oh, it's heavy. Cyber Power LCD Soho Value. I've been using it for a good two years. I actually have everything plugged into it at this very moment. I've got my NAS drive. Not this NAS drive, although I had this one in it before. I've got my beefy eight bay NAS drive. Proper, proper, chunky piece of kit. It is in the closet right there. I've got this Mac Pro 1400 watt. Mm, man juice over there. <laughs> it's a big fella. I've got my eGPU, my MacBook Pro, my monitor all plugged into this battery pack. Not this one. I've got a second one because I love it so much. I've had this guy for about two years and if you don't know, in uninterruptible power supplies, they are just a battery pack for whenever there's a power outage. It keeps the power going for a little while so you can shut down your systems safely. It also has, whew, I'm gonna say it in the speak that they say, a sine wave regulator. It gets electricity and makes sure that it has a nice, nice, nice wave of electricity so it protects your components supposedly better. I've never had any components of mine fail due to bad electricity, but here it happens. And I'm in Australia, a foreign land to me, and I didn't want to take any risks. So this is the CyberPower Pro Value Series. I had it, it was the cheapest one I got. There's probably better ones out there. Cool thing about this one is, oh, look at that. At the back there, it actually has real plugs. So you can plug proper electricity plugs in there. It's not like the weird ones you get. It also has a USB, and I plug my USB directly into my NAS drive. And what that means is whenever there's a power failure, my NAS is immediately told, hey, there's been a power failure, shut down in the next 10 minutes. Or if it recovers in the next minute or whatever it is, don't shut down. So it has a bit of intelligence there. I haven't actually plugged it into my Mac Pro to see if there's any software to let the Mac Pro to know to shut down. But for you guys out there, I'm gonna give a live demonstration of turning off the power. Remember, I've got my eGPU plugged in, my MacBook Pro plugged in, my LCD monitor plugged in. My NAS drive plugged in. It's a very dangerous experiment I'm about to play, but we're gonna do it live just to show you that this stuff works. You excited? Yeah, come on, you excited? Because you didn't know you needed this stuff until today. Make sure you check it out. All right, let's do it. So let me just show you this one. Right now it's turned off, but touch of a button, it will automatically turn on and it will tell you, hey, this is the battery running. It does make a bit of noise when the battery is either charging or is discharging. But right there it says we've got a 70 minutes runtime and zero, Volts are being used. That's the output level there, 230 volts. And we've got 70 minutes of juice. Inside the closet here, I've got a beefy NAS system. This is a big guy, the big guy, that's what I call him. Also go over here, that's my eGPU. That's my power supply right there. That's my MacBook Pro and my big monitor. And of course, woo, don't jump, don't jump. Okay, that's the, the Mac Pro right there, excited. Got this, uh, I don't know how much what. it's a big light bulb. So let me just check the display over here. We're using 243, 245 volts. We've got 25 minutes of runtime if power fails and we've got 100% battery capacity. So I'm gonna do the deed. Boom, let's see what happens. Turn off the electricity. Straight away it takes over. Makes a bit of noise. Look here, right there. Power is off, but my monitor is still on. Everything's running. And my Mac Pro, as you can see, is proing away. Everything is good in the world. So my room is completely safe. And let me just see. I've got six minutes to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the electricity back on. And just like that, the battery turns off. It starts charging up again and it's as if, it's as if nothing has happened. My NAS drive is still operational, my Mac Pro is still operational, my computer is still operational, everything's still operational and we survived that power outage. So there you go. Hope you guys appreciate that. I put my electronics on the line for you guys to show you that this battery, with all of that stuff plugged in, we're getting five to six minutes of emergency power. And to be honest, that is enough for me. There are more expensive units, there's some that sends out SMSs, all that kind of goodness. But this one was the cheapest one I can find that could actually work. And I've got a review on it on one of my older NASs, but I thought since it works for the Mac Pro, it's probably still a great 
UPS to purchase. So as always, hope you guys enjoyed this informative demonstration. I'm glad it survived. Let me know what UPS you guys are using out there in the world and I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Whew. Only one casualty.